attacking people, singling them out and attacking them, trying to get other viewers to kill them or for them to commit suicide. <gasps> that's really I forgot how, Sorry, Val, I forgot how bad it was to actually hear that. that. That's quite upsetting. To me. Okay. Hello, lovelies. Welcome to Night Free Formula. My name is Freedom. Thank you for joining me. Today, I have Val Steele um, sitting in with me again, and we are going to be discussing some of the latest updates in the whole uh, David DeMars saga. Before I go too far, let me just get Val to join us. Hello, darling. Hello, sweetie. How are you? I'm good. Here we are again. 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 People are saying, oh, not again. Talk Sorry. to that. <laughs> tell us, no, seriously, talk to that bit. Seriously, tell, tell the people exactly what, what you just said to me before we started. People that probably click onto my videos, they see my videos about David Dumas, and they must think that I just want to make one after the other, after the other, after the other. I never give up. Now, my videos are always in response to his. So, for instance, on my Toxic Free channel, I made around about the average of 20. 20 videos titled. I mean, I might have mentioned him in others. 20 videos about David. Now, the 20 videos about David were all responses <clears throat> to David's videos, which were 20 or 30 videos David made. But I don't go around saying, oh, he's made thousands, because that would be embellishing the truth, and I don't do that, or exaggerating. So... He's made about 20, 25 videos about me, and I responded in my 19, 20 videos about him. And obviously what happened is I walked out of my other channel, I left it because I'd had enough. I thought I'd done enough. David followed me here. Now, the videos that we're doing now are responses because he's back. He's now making videos about me in this new fresh community that I'm in now. So if anybody's watching these videos and thinking, she needs to stop, she's obsessed. No, guys, I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed at all. I am trying to put the truth out about this man, and people are starting to come forward real victims, not just people that he's come across that don't like me. So I just want to say to those that think I'm obsessed and I keep making video after video, I'm responding to David's video. Um, and what he does, a response to David's videos is then made to be abuse. And again, it's called reactive abuse. Um, yeah. That's what he, he points at me, doesn't he? And then he says, oh, she's yeah. doing it again. But I'm always responding to him, guys, okay? So he made another video that I want to talk about, about stuff that he said about me and freedom. And it's pretty disgusting. And I'm not going to sit back yeah. and be silenced in this community anymore. I was silent yeah. the first time. This time, sorry, Freedom, I'm going on, I know. But this time I want to speak out because there's a lot of people that don't speak out about narc abuse because they get um, they get the, the roles twisted. They, they're called the victim. They get intimidated. The flying monkey's attacking. And I was my, this week's been pretty hard because I have been attacked, attacked. And I've stopped watching comments, guys. So if you want to write a nasty comment about me, I'm not going to read it anymore. I'm going to focus on what I'm supposed to be doing here. And that is exposing David as a narcissist. Um, he's not going to silence me. And I hope that what we're doing will help other victims to come forth, not only of David, but any victims out there to be able to speak up. Because it's about a damn time that people started to speak out about this thing. And I'm hoping that me and Freedom are maybe leading the way. I don't know, but that's what I want to say. Thank you, Freedom. David Mars in his video, Q and A, caring for the traumatized body, mentioned us twice. The first thing he said that was that we that, that we had said that David needs to die, and that there was comments on our on my I think on my video he was saying um, from you know people saying that David needs to die and that there were death threats, which is just the most outrageous statement. I mean, both you and I, there's no way we would ever let anyone threaten anyone, um, and you know put death threats on our channels on in our comment section. No. It's just an outrageous smear for him to say, but he said it with impunity. No one questioned it. No one challenged him. And the other thing, also, just quickly, like I said with these flying monkeys in, in this video, and we're going to show you guys what you know the actual video. But in this video, he actually instructs people exactly how to be flying monkeys. He says to them, you know, go to their channels leave a negative comment thumb down the video and then report the video he's literally encouraging people to be flying monkeys that is all flying monkey behavior you don't need to be told by a narcissist to go and do their bidding that's not yeah. normal behavior people so let's just jump straight into it shall we let's just play david demars like i said with his death threat i mean it's just it's you know it's uh insane it's probably the only thing to say i'm only watching it specifically for the fact that we are covering this and to be honest i have really decided to double down because this has gone on for far too long and you know david really is dangerous like there's just no doubt um as you we both know so another woman came out another one of his uh, coaching clients came out and did a expose video on him uh just tonight actually you know so it's good to see but the fact is there's probably untold number of victims you know he has no education he's trying to do you know trying to be a psychiatrist or a psychologist to people um vulnerable traumatized people so anyhow like I said, the man's a danger and here he is like i said blatantly lying let me just finish playing this um this is a lie where he says that we wanted to have him killed or something stupid i appreciate it uh, i'm not discouraged i'll never stop no I hate to bring this into this channel. We do too. I've kept it pretty away from this channel for five years. I've been stalked for six years by a woman. And her channel's named Toxic Free. 
I'm not staying quiet anymore. This because you're not staying quiet anymore because you've been so badly exposed that you have to face and deal with it. You know, Mr. Oh, I don't know this person. I've never met this person. I've never spoken to this person. This has gone too far. There are two women on YouTube that are absolutely so sick that they're completely dangerous. So sick. You're so sick, Val. It really, really is. There's nothing professional about David DeMars. Like I said, this is all just a fake, um, and a fake mask, false construct. He's not a life coach. He's just slung out a shingle, paid his 500 bucks, got his two-day course, and oh, you beaut, off we go. And now he's given psychoanalysts and psychoanalyzing people and giving them, you know, all these weird sessions and oh, the things that have I've heard from clients. It's just, yeah, this man needs to stop. Anyhow, unfortunately, there are no governing bodies. There's no life coach governing body that people can complain to. There's no way of actually stopping this man. The only way to stop him is if people listen and pay attention. Let me just continue to play this, Val. Attacking people, singling them out and attacking them, trying to get other viewers to kill them or for them to commit suicide. <gasps> That's I weird. How... Sorry, Val, I forgot how bad it was to actually hear that. that. That's quite, I don't do that. That's the last thing I'm here for. I'm, I'm actually getting upset thinking about it. What a horrific thing to say. I can't believe he tried to say that we are trying to get people to commit suicide this is Sorry. a man who's on record saying that apparently he sent the police to your place val and that you were so suicidal that they couldn't do anything but now he is here talking about you he's talking about going on bam's channel bam who committed forced someone to commit suicide yeah. and bragged about it then he's going on ad's channel the man who makes a fortune from uh shanann watson the family this is just yeah. outrageous. He's trying to push you to suicide and then has the nerve to say that about us. There is zero evidence because there is no evidence. This is a bold face and outrageous yeah. lie, smear and slur. And this is something that I might even go to a solicitor about. You know, up till now, I've just yeah, been kind definitely. of, you know, because this is absolute horrific I'm defamation. So, I'm sorry for getting upset then, but that watching it again, it's, this is why I'm fighting this because it's. I'm, I'm not suicidal. I'm angry. These tears are from anger, you know? And the fact that he people are supporting this man and this is the kind of stuff he's doing, but they think it's true. David, I'm looking at the picture now, so I'm actually speaking to him. Why doesn't he show the, the, the proof? I've got a stack this high of what my stalker's done to me. And she wants proof. <laughs> um, if we had seen proof of him with death threats, what I would do is before I said anything, I'd put the screenshot up and say, look, he's saying that, you know, he's going to, it's all this. Why does he not show any proof? Where has he got that from? That we're trying to, to kill people and get people dead. I would like to see yeah. the proof of that, David, but he doesn't ever show the proof of anything. It's all just jibber-jabber. So, like I said, there is, I mean, this is why, because there is no proof, because it didn't happen. It's an outrageous um, lie coming from the mind of a very sick and dangerous individual. Like, David, here's the challenge. Show me the proof. Show me the proof that anyone tried to make anyone commit suicide on my channel. Show me the proof. Um that he's saying that we want to kill people, and yet there he is saying he's going to go on and do a collaboration with this Bam Bam, right, um, Alexandra. She's, well, the previous videos that we put up, she's there saying, you know, I pushed someone to suicide and I would do it again, threatening to rip apart an eight-year-old child. You know, yeah. she, is, she is just the worst person I've ever seen, and she is an online bully. She pushes people to suicide, right? Well, I'm the opposite. I'm trying to help people. I have three or four channels, you know, because they're all different and they all try and help people. Um, I'm not in out different there ways. That's right. Yeah, in different ways. There's the Rue Six is my toxic free channel. But anyway, I'm trying so hard to help people and to have somebody say who is pushing, trying to push me to death, who is with, uh, collaborating with somebody else who's trying to kind of like say that she's going to come and rip my head off and, and come and visit me. And um, and then he is saying this about me. I am so frustrated at this man's lies and I will keep on doing this until people see who he is. Sorry, All right, I'm going to keep playing the video. Here we go. Pretty dangerous. They spend their time attacking people singling them out and attacking them, trying to get other viewers to kill them or for them to commit suicide. That's it. That's what they're trying to do. If, if they don't like that, then they need to stop because that's what they're doing. This, this is the, the number one reason. Yep. Right. I mean, that's like the third time he said that, that we're trying to yeah. get, how are we trying to get people to kill themselves? The only people that, to, that we are, is he saying that we're getting at people? So what was the sentence he said? Something about we're- He's saying that we're trying to get people to, com to kill them. <laughs> Or commit who else suicide. Are who else, David, are we trying to get at to kill to kill, to kill themselves? Who else? Who else? What, he's Alan? talking about the video. No, but he's talking about his subscribers. That's exactly who he's talking about in the Is comment section. He was, yeah, because he said he said um, they're they're attacking you when they fly down to oh, my channel. You know, yeah, that's what he's. Uh, let's listen to the end bit of it. Reason, people are committing suicide right now. Number one, thousands of young people just in America, over four thousand, taking their lives because of stuff like this. What they're doing to me and others.
now that I'm coming out in public, there's all kinds of new victims surfacing from these two women. Oh, really? You mean Holly? Holly, Holly. from Healing Day by Day, the woman that I did two videos on exposing, and the, the third one and final one, Holly, who's done 132 videos after I exposed her. Holly, who's lost her mind, who abuses her subscribers, who says the most horrific thing, calls them names, bullies homeless people. I mean, yeah, come on yeah. now. She's yeah. not a victim. I I'm doing an interview in the next few days if you guys are interested on someone else's channel. I'll let you guys be aware of it. So you can so this is Bam Bam's world, and this is the woman who goaded. Um, she's literally publicly online. We, I, I have her in a video. You can hear her voice saying, um, I'm a psychopath. Put my back against the wall, and I'll probably kill you. There's going to be an interview done in uh, this channel um, of a chap that has been stalked. I'm going to throw this fucker back into the psychiatric ward. Trust me, I pushed one fucker to hang himself at one time, and I've got absolutely no qualms about doing it a second time. get the yep. whole story i'm going to come out for the first time ever and tell the whole story and I've for the first time ever oh, five years. oh after five, five years. years you know why he's yeah. doing it now because he's got backup from i'm going to say a psychopath because she's actually di she's diagnosed uh, as, as a psychopath, as a psychopath. As a psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. so the fact that he's now you know when they get together it's like it's like um packs of dogs the strength in numbers and the fact that now yeah. he thinks he can come out and lie because there will be yeah. lies because again i've done absolutely nothing to david except expose him in videos um, yeah. and the fact that he's got the backing now of Alan, of, of, of Holly and of Bam, all four have got their own disorders. As you and I both suspect, we both think right now he's currently doctoring and manufacturing some fake evidence. Yeah. Um, and we think that he's doing that because he's in cahoots with Bam Bam, who is a sociopath uh, or psychopath and um, has on the record has said that she will do anything she will destroy your marriage if she wants to fuck up she'll destroy your marriage she'll destroy your business she will come for your neighbors your family from the oldest to the youngest she will dox everyone she will do whatever she can to destroy you so i feel like that's what's happening here they're they're um doctoring some false evidence all right so i'm just going to play this because i was going to be here all night here we go i've got little things of proof and stuff to show that these women are absolutely disgustingly sick and just making up lies i've got a stack this high of what my stalker's done to me and she wants proof <laughs> They're targeting people. I have found about six victims already. That's so funny you said six and hold up five fingers. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> yep, six. Oh, so that's all they do. They spend their time no, sorry. attacking people, trying to get them killed or suicidal. <gasps> again, he said it again. How many times can he lie like that? Show us any proof. Any Show proof. us the proof, David. God, he's such an That's outrageous one. You're defaming It's absolute her, defamation. David. Yeah, that is absolute smearing and defamation. And, you know, you just can't go around saying that about other people. That's just, you just can't lie and make up stuff like that. Look at that face, Val. Honestly, he's just so fraudulent. Like, he knows he's lying. That's the worst thing about this. He knows everything that he's saying right now is a lie. You know, but he just thinks, well, he knows that his viewers either lack critical thinking or that they're so kind of under his spell um, they just won't challenge him or question it or ask for proof. You know, that they'll just go, oh, okay, whatever you say, David. Yeah. Shocking. All right, let me play it. And, um, yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Um, I've tried to get YouTube to stop them. It's not going very <laughs> This is funny in itself, Val. He's tried to get YouTube to stop us, apparently, and it's not going too well. Mm, I wonder why that is. Probably because... Well, either he hasn't or B, it's because they're not just going to remove our content because you don't like what's being said about you, because yeah. you don't like the truth being exposed. Sorry, David, that's not how the real world works. When you do bad things, you will be exposed for it. You know, you can complain to YouTube till the cows come home, mate. They're not going to do anything because we are not breaking any rules. We're not breaking any laws and exposing you is actually our right. This is what YouTube is all about, giving people, average people, a voice. Right. Yeah. And his actions speak louder than words because he's he's always trying to, like I said, he's trying to tell people, oh, I'm a good guy, I'm a good guy. Essentially, yeah. that's what the underlying message is all the time. You can trust me, I'm a good guy, right? But in actual fact, he is um, a covert narcissist. Like everything that he does is under the radar. He's such a bully. We've had emails from his clients where he's bullied them where he's called them yep. names, where, you know, where he's um, threatened to dox them if they, you know, because they wanted their money back because he was so bad at what he did. I mean, this stuff is all on the public record, but the David stands, you know, those ones that do act like flying monkeys, they won't ever look, you know, they're just so mind controlled because he keeps uh -huh. telling them, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I believe in values and honesty and blah, blah, blah. But I have, I'm not stopping. I'm still trying. That's why I started the petition. Stop narcissistic online bullying petition is right down below in the comment section. It's in the description box. The irony. 
you speak. Yeah. Well, the irony, the man who's doing the whole petition yeah. is the one who's subconsciously trying to push you to commit suicide, who's going on BAM's channel, who is someone who's actually got yeah. a man to commit suicide and then bragged about it and said she'd do it again. But so, this, you know. This is all a mask, right? And I'm not going to compare him to Jimmy Savile. I'm not saying he's anything like Jimmy Savile, but look at Jimmy Savile. You know, he was the perfect person. They all thought he looked a bit weird, obviously, but, you know, he was unique in his own way at the time before we knew what he was. But he would do all these runs for charity and make money for charity and talk about all these charities and these petitions and everything he was doing, that's a mask. Yeah. Because people cannot understand how a good person can do bad things. We all know bad people can do good and good can do bad. But if you keep on creating the Samaritan, and this this is why he shouts at me calling me a hero, because he thinks, he's projecting, he thinks that my channel's helping the Rusex, trying to, um, you know, um, expose AD, you know, he thinks that's because he's he's making a mask. He thinks that's my mask. But no, that's what yeah. I really do. That's what I really do. You're a human being and that's your that's genuine concern. Yeah. So he's projecting onto me. But this is what he is doing. It's a mask. It's a mask yeah. to portray goodness. And it's it's underneath that goodness, it's the devil's work. The point is yeah. that people are so easily misled by this act and this performance. And this is what narcissists and sociopaths and predators do. They don't act like the big scary boogeyman. They don't show their temper in public. They don't flare up. They don't, you know, give off red flags. They come across as really nice guys like David DeMars who's always talking about the community. A sick, disgusting, negative opinion that, that they have. Um, yeah. Well, did you didn't say the sick, disgusting, negative opinion that we have. I think he did. Yeah, it's just because we don't agree with his narrative. That's what it's, it's a sick. It's obviously it's black and white. If you don't agree, yeah. you're bad. We're he's sick and disgusting. He's actually done videos on black and white thinking, on how there's no grey area narcissists. And that's what he's saying. It's like, they don't agree. It's sick. It's disgusting. It's like, no, it's just, just say that what it is that we don't agree with people that come from your channel. It's not sick or disgusting. Yeah. Everything's exactly. embellished. Yeah, everything's embellished. Everything's just so extreme. So he minimises anything that he's done. Um, and, and, you know, his, sorry? And exaggerates what we do. Yeah. Not going to stop. Not, it doesn't matter how many sick, sick people or sick women uh, want to group together and attack me and make up lies. It doesn't make me stop. It just shows how sick they are. Sick, sick women. He said sick, sick women. And then he said just shows how sick they are. Sick four times in one sentence. Come on, David. You can be a little bit more creative than that, surely. Sick, sick women. Um, but this stuff is going to get bigger. They're going to be more exposed. These two women have been exposed over and over again. One of them has started doing this to me five years ago. She's been exposed as a liar. She's been exposed as sick and disgustingly toxic. Exposed as a liar, exposed as sick and disgustingly toxic. How Just by you... him. Yeah. That, that's all. Not yeah. So, so no actual proof, no evidence. The only people that you're trying to say are victims are the people that Val has either done a video on exposing their bad behavior or left a comment on. So... It's just fascinating, the language of the users. Like I said, sick, 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 disgusting, sick. You know, with all the stuff that I know about David Demands, I don't even know if I've ever called him sick or disgusting. I mean, he is, but I don't think I've ever actually said it. Exactly. You know, it just seems so strange. And for a, it, and a life coach. It's toxic, it's toxic words. They're toxic. It's just. Yeah, just hate. It's just pure hate. And he's just, he's really just, and I've heard him say before, I'm not sure if he says it in this video, but I'm sure I've heard him say before about how anyone who joins us, um, agrees with us that yeah. there's something wrong with them as well yeah. so you know it's that whole thing like we on our side of the camp we'll just put it that way are saying here look at the evidence make up your own mind do your own research think it out think it through take the time yeah. whereas he is saying those women are sick and he's saying things like if i can even call them women sick 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 disgusting and if you believe it then you're sick you know that's not, not the conversation balanced or healthy. An, exactly yeah. it's not the no. conversation of a an honest victim of me no, he's not a victim and he's not a professional. He's an absolute fraud. And narcissistic. And she just goes away quiet for a while and then comes back and starts all over. It doesn't matter. I left Toxic Free because of him. I'd had enough. I was done. And you can go and watch my last video on Toxic Free. I talk about it, right? For a year down the road, I went on, did my own thing. I'm just doing my own thing with the Rusex, helping them. Da -da -da -da. He comes and follows me into this community, right? Through Bam, because Alan found him and Bam found him. So they kind of said, David, come with us. You know, let's, let's, let's upset Val more. He comes into this community and then he starts making videos about me again. I mean, he hadn't stopped for the whole year because everybody would send me details of what he'd said, but it wasn't so bad. But the last few videos when he's talking about me cutting hair in my living room and abusing people on dating sites and all that stuff, I'm thinking, right, no, this is, this is disordered because you could have stopped when I walked away and you could have left it, but you followed me here and you started making more videos. So I'm now making more videos in response to your videos. So that's you starting it up again, not me starting it up. 
you followed me and I'm responding, okay? Got it? Thank you. Exactly, because the first video that you and I did, so the first interview that you and I did, you came onto my channel, I interviewed you and we named it uh, Narcissistic Dangerous Online Predator Exposed. We named it the exact title of the video that David had just done about you four with weeks with your face and the weird keyboard cartoon version or thumbnail. Um, we had done named it that, titled it that, because that was the exact title of the video that David DeMars had made about you. It was like 26 minutes long. The whole thing was about you. He felt emboldened because he had he thought he had BAM and AD. And as we'll just remind people again, BAM is a horrific online bully who is bragging that she's got someone to commit suicide. The, she said the fucker hung himself and she'd do it again. And AD, his entire channel is making money off the family and the um, the the story of the Shanann Watts murder, Shanann and the three little babies, or the two little babies and the you know, unborn baby Nico, who were murdered by Chris Watts. So he makes money making up stories about those family, uh, that family and the case. Shanann's family, the Rusheks, Frankie Jr. and Frankie Senior, have are on camera, on the news, literally begging AD to stop. AD and the other channels, his his uh, image came up on the news camera, like on the newsreel. Um, they, you know, they begged him to stop. So this is a man who is making money from dead children, making up stories, and David DeMars thinks that he should go and pair up with these two um, and make videos about Val, the woman he who he reckons, the police said that she's so suicidal, they can't make her stop. So, you know, if she's so suicidal, why are you pushing her? Yeah, why are you pushing her, mate? All right, let's keep going. Her. Nothing will stop her. She's absolutely obsessed with me. It's pretty scary to think of how obsessed someone can be that they spend every single moment of their life doing this to you. It's so funny. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's just so funny how when you listen to him, you almost can get sucked into believing what he's saying. And then it's like, oh, hang on, a reality check. It was you that followed her into the next community. It was you who did the video about her six weeks ago that started this all off. You know, this is not what you're saying. What you're saying is just, you know, it's a narrative that you're spinning. And if you didn't know any different, you'd probably believe it. I mean, most people just think, oh, a life coach wouldn't lie. Well, this one absolutely does. And I'm obsessed with the truth, not with him. Exactly. And also your, your videos have been in response to his videos. So here we go. Yeah. Um, Anyway, thank you, Emily. Appreciate it. And I'm sorry you guys have to see this, but it's no longer up to me. I'm not the one bringing this into my channel anymore. Oh, really? That's interesting because you literally did bring it into your channel. You should have just left Val alone. She had left you alone for a whole year, mate. She'd given up on this. She had literally given up trying to convince and people and show them who you were. She gave up. It was too hard. But you know what? You continued to chase her down. And now she's got backup. And we're sick of it. And we're going to keep on going until this is over. So, you know, get ready because we're, we're serious about this. This is, we're done. It's done. You are so out of here, mate. You have no idea. It's been infiltrated so hard mm -hmm. by these two sick women. Sick. But they're going to be stopped soon. Police are getting involved now. Finally, <laughs> finally, police. I got police involved. Uh, uh, God, it was like three years ago. An inspector went to one of the women's houses and asked her to stop. And she convinced him that I'm doing it to her. That's the whole thing is that I'm doing this to her. And so when he realized that she was lying, he said that she's so suicidal. I don't even want to go tell her to stop. She's. <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> okay. Can I just say something? First of all, right. obviously, no one came to my house. Plus, three years ago, it was the beginning. Was it the beginning of COVID? So it no was, one was yeah. fly, really. I think I remember him saying it about two, two and a half, three years ago. He said it in a video that the police had come, and at the time, no one was flying. So, had he sent them from there, or had he paid for an investigator? This is what we need to look at: the common sense of the silly things that narcissists say. <clears throat> had he paid, <clears throat> excuse me, had he paid for an investigator to come to me? Why would an investigator come to my house just to, you know, obviously no one's come. The police in England do not leave anybody. I don't care who they are. First of all, if you were meant to have told the policeman all the things that I've done, for instance, attacking your family, trying to get people killed, doing all the things that I've done in all the videos you've been talking about, they would take it very seriously. The first thing they would do is open the door and arrest me. So they wouldn't even see if I was suicidal or not before they even had a chance to be convinced or anything. If I was standing there with pills and looking suicidal or said, I'm going to kill myself, there is no way a policeman, the policemen are human beings in England. I don't know what your policemen are like in Las Vegas, but if somebody's at the door talking about suicide, they do not say, oh, well, I'm not going to do anything because you're suicidal and leave me. You have to, and I've said this in many videos, look at this, this, the fact that it's all BS. No yeah. policeman would come to a door if they were convinced that I had done wrong. They would, they would basically arrest me for whatever whatever mental state I was in. They would take me to the police station and have suicide watch or get me taken to the hospital. They would not walk away and put, lock, shut the door on me and leave me standing there suicidal. Exactly. David, stop with your lies, man. 
And not only Val, so listen, this is the thing, like, so not only has he created a lie, this false narrative about you being so suicidal, right, but then he's literally going on channels with these bullies and people who are trying, like, Bam is trying to get you to commit suicide. Um, you know, it's just... Oh, the, if I was suicidal... So hypocritical. Him going on Bam's channel to rip me to shreds, to lie about me more. I mean, I'm not suicidal. If I was, I wouldn't be doing these videos. Yeah, I sometimes have the odd cry and get a little bit weak and tired because it's exhaustion with all this. Six years. Six years I've had this. Yeah. Five, six, whatever. I don't know. I've lost, I've lost count because David's years change every flipping week. Oh, yeah. But he told I, AJ I, it was 10 years. Yeah, 10 years, 12 years, six years, five, four. It changes. Yeah. Um, I've had it for such a long time. I am getting exhausted with it. This is why I'm fighting it now because it's like this is just not on anymore. But if I was really suicidal, okay, he's going on channels with a woman that pushes, us, pushes people to suicide. Does he want me to kill myself? Because if I was as suicidal as he's saying that I am, why is he going on channels talking about me? You don't do that. You actually did. If you actually did commit suicide, you know what he would do? He would literally use it for more fuel. He would talk about his suicide, his, sorry, his stalker who was so obsessed with him that she committed suicide and, yeah. and how it's affected him so deeply. That's what he would do Romantic. if you actually did. So out there, you just think about it. No, no, seriously, no. All right, let's play some more. So unstable. She might kill herself if I ask her to stop attacking people. They're going to be in trouble. No, we're not. We are waiting. I am waiting. As yet, no. Haven't heard peep. This is future faking. We all know. He's been doing this to you for years. He said he was going to get the FBI on you. Oh, yeah, the FBI ago. was coming to get me. What happened to that, David? Did they actually contact you back? You mm. said that you'd got a defence team against me. I've never heard anything. You said that you'd got the law and that you're looking into it and you'd send people around to my house continuously. The doorbell has not rung. With not your once, mate. Today. Not once. Uh, okay, next one. Look, even if David DeMars doesn't victimise all of his viewers, you know, we know that he's not going to because he only victimises a few people, right? So, But the thing is, the fact is they can't identify a predator when it's sitting right in front of them, um, you know, every day for half an hour or however long he's on his, you know, show. They can't even identify a predator like that. So they will be predated upon by someone somewhere down yeah. the track because they That's have forgotten the yeah they've forgotten the most basic point and that is that their narcissist is not the only one like the person that victimized them the first time around is not the only one out there there's a lot of them out there you know and they go under the cover and under this kind of um you know this false facade this mask this performance they literally all do the same thing they run churches they run charities they have bloody online suicide prevention uh petitions while they do videos with people who have actually bullied someone to death and are friends with people like kim wilson who goaded her sister into killing herself and then when she did cried crocodile tears on her channel i mean these people are really really dangerous and sick and david demars is friends with these people, is going online with them, is chummy with them. I've seen him talking to both of them in his comment section just recently. The narcissists do um, the things they say others are doing, right? So here he is encouraging people to do this trickiness where he wants you to go and block people so they can't reply, but then you can say something and that, you know, it won't be able to, sorry, they won't let her say anything. Sorry, what were you going to say? Manipulation. Plus, can another thing? He's a life coach. These these two women are disgustingly sick. And disgustingly sick again. Oh, we're sick. Now we're disgustingly sick. It's getting worse. We were sick and disgusting. Now we're disgustingly sick. Sick, sick, sick. Disgustingly <laughs> sick. Sick, sick. <laughs> Guys, watching this. Sorry for laughing, but we do need to laugh. We're not. This is not a smear campaign. This is just exposing the truth and showing the lies of David. Yes, we're having a bit of a laugh, but you know, sometimes you just have to because this this stuff drives you crazy. Yeah, I always say on my channel, I always say it's so important to be able to laugh at the narcissist because when you do, it takes away so much of their power. You know, yeah. they think that they're high and mighty. They think that they're better than everyone else. They think they're in control. They think all these things about themselves, but none of it's fact. And when you laugh at them and you realise just how pathetic they really are, like I said, it helps to calm your own nervous system and it helps put the whole situation with them in, in perspective. And, yeah, David DeMars absolutely needs laughing at. All right, I'm going to keep playing only sick people will follow them. Sick. So what you're going to get is you can be very nice and say, I don't think this is a good idea. And you'll get 10 people saying you're the worst person in the world and David needs to die. And David no. needs to David die. David needs to die. No one in my comment section has ever said David needs to die. No, also, not in mine either, Val. The people that support me aren't sick. So you're calling people, subscribers of channels, sick. That's just blanketing everybody at the same thing because you're trying to demean me. You're bringing other people into it. People who support me are not sick. You're They're beautiful people. The people They've that support... They care yeah. about people. They are not sick. You yeah. are a life coach. I keep having to do that. You can't go around calling everybody sick. 
Yeah. The people that follow you and my channel are actually some of the um, smartest, sweetest, most kind of self-aware people yeah. that you'll ever meet. And I think we both keep our channel. Um, you know, it's a safe space. Like I, for me, I've always just tried to keep my channel a really safe space. I don't want to talk for you, but obviously I think you feel the same. But the thing with David, I just noticed what he did just then is he told people to go leave a comment, a negative comment, but then he said, but don't go back and read what they respond to you know to you with so essentially what he really wants is people to do his bidding leave negative comments but he's scared that people might wake up or might consider yeah. something if they read a different comment that's not coming from val not coming from freedom but coming from just a viewer like them you know that's what he's worried about he's really worried that people will start waking up so that's why he's saying get in there leave your dirty comments and then quickly and then leave run. and block the people so they can't respond back to you i mean and nobody wow. wants him dead Nobody wants him dead. What an outrageous thing to say. That's because of protection. Him. He wants me yeah. dead. So he thinks yeah. that everybody wants him dead. Remember? Yeah. Proof. We want some proof. Seriously, like I said, I'm seriously thinking about going to a solicitor about this. So you better get your proof because, well, once again, there is no proof. There's no way of... It needs to be addressed. So it's going to be addressed. These people are going to be exposed and exposed and exposed as long as it takes for them to stop. Um, so... So, you know, with your ex and with my ex, Brian, yeah. I didn't... Sorry, long story short. We went no contact, right? We didn't. Yeah, no, we didn't go. Done. You know, but I him on Facebook. Yeah. I didn't speak to him again. I just walked away. So if David Mars actually believed that you were a stalker and all the things that he claims that you are, he would have gone no contact. He would never have mentioned you, and he certainly wouldn't have um, put all these videos uh, up on his channel uh, talking about you. So once again, it just shows none of he's this is credible. Enough. Yeah, I think there's more to David than we've seen. Sorry, sweetie. I think there's a lot more to David that um, he's trying to. For hide. David to go this far uh, in detriment to his channel to keep on lying so much, and I just think that he's seriously hiding something because this is what this is what this is all about: is to discredit me, to make me seem crazy. So let's just say I came, I did find something on David, or somebody came to me and said, "Look, I've seen your videos. This is what David's done." If I outed it. Who's going to believe me? Because I'm nuts. Because he's told everybody I'm nuts. This is yeah. what they do. It's a yeah. discredit thing. And well, absolutely, it's to discredit you. It's also because he's onto a good thing here, Val. Like he literally has access to all these gullible, vulnerable people who've got their wallets open to him. Right? He's onto a really good thing. So he gets the kind of the the kick, you know, the um the dupers delight, you know, the joy, the narcissistic joy of ripping off people, conning people, having this entire community of victims to play play in. You know, this is a good wicket for him. This man used to be a bartender. Now he's charging $100 an hour, uh, pretending to be a psychoanalyst or a, a counsellor. You know, he's on a good thing. He's not going to let anyone destroy that. You know, now he's like, he, here he's talking about, oh, books, writing books and going on documentaries and films. Like, okay, mate, like, we see you. You are not going to get away with this. We're going to keep on with it. Sorry? And plenty of other people see him too. Plenty of other people see him too. All right, I'm going to keep playing it. Well, you tell people where I live, they... Oh my God! I don't even know where you live, you egomaniac. <laughs> he lives in Las Vegas because he said it hundreds of times in his videos. He know everybody knows where he lives. He says, it "Isn't Las Vegas a little bit of a big place? Like it's a pretty big place. I'm pretty sure." Do you really sure. think I'm going to go to Las Vegas? I mean, seriously. Oh my God! This is just knocking on doors, Val. Really? Knocking on doors. Use my videos. They go against every single YouTube policy. So you. So if he went against any YouTube policy, YouTube would, would actually do gone. something. We'd be gone. They've been doing this a long time. They're used to it, and they try to work around it and try to abuse people and commit crimes oh, commit and try crime. to get people dead. It's Again, And try and get people dead. Yeah, I keep mean, saying this and I will go to a solicitor. I mean, what kind of sentence is that for a starter? No one is trying to get anybody dead. If there exactly. were, you'd have reported us by now. You'd have shown the proof of this, where this came from. You'd be quite happy to put up screenshots of us saying we want to make people dead. But Absolutely. You don't, David, and we, we don't do that. And you're, you're rubbing with the you're rubbing shoulders with the wrong people, you know. Yeah, Bam wants to make people dead, not us. No, Bam did make someone dead. Bam Alexander. bullied someone yeah, until they hung himself. Alexandria, that's what he's doing. Yeah, literally made someone hang himself, commit suicide, and the man is dead. And she gloated about it on YouTube um, and said that she'd do it again. And David Mars is going onto her channel. Pretty, yeah, I think he's going on his channel soon. So that'll be good for your online petition about cyberbullying. Hey, it's all just blatant <sighs> lies literal lies zero evidence i mean anyone can do it like anyone can jump on youtube and just say whatever they want you know it's a, a free-to-air platform for the people right but those of us with integrity 
and reputations. This is why, like I said, I'm actually considering maybe going to a solicitor because my reputation is important to me. And to have a man saying that I'm trying to make people dead or trying to get other people to kill people or commit suicide or whatever, that is just, you know, you just can't go around saying those kind of things, especially with no proof. And we know he's got no proof because it just didn't happen. He's so a life anyhow. coach. I keep saying that. If he was a normal YouTuber, you know, you could, you've got to have some kind of ethics some kind of morals when you talk your responsibility for you have a big responsibility for people who watch your videos you know and and i'm just finding that he's so busy aiming his bullets in my direction shrapnel is hitting the people all around and it's just this is why i am getting more and more angry with this person i i just i don't even know what to say anymore yeah it's a lot it's really really it's just it's a lot it's too much um and and, and it's re really double standards and hypocritical on his behalf because he is quite literally, there he is saying that you're going to commit suicide, that you're suicidal. And then he's like, and then I'm going on Bam's channel to talk about her and expose her. And I'm going to continue exposing her. And then I'm going to go on AD's channel. You know, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about anyone. This is all just a facade. And the thing is, he's using that petition. He's using that petition to, so people are spreading the petition, right? But Unlike most people, when they write a petition, they don't put their life story in it, right? Whereas David has literally put this false narrative about you, which yep. is interesting because you kind of think that his abuser would be Ronnie, right? But, you know, he's always talking about that she's the abuser. But when he wrote the petition, he wrote about, about you. Me. Oh, he's obsessed. isn't that interesting? Absolutely obsessed. He's the obsessed one. Absolutely obsessed. If he was going to write any anything about any crazy, narcissistic ex-girlfriend, it should have been about Ronnie, but he didn't. He wrote about you. So he's using that petition, knowing full well that people are going to share it because they think they're doing the right thing. And then it, it's free advertising for David DeMars. That's all the petition is about. It's, no it's his way, his it's way of getting clients. Yeah, absolutely. That's all it is. Free advertising. And people will share it thinking they're doing the right thing. David doesn't care about anyone committing suicide. He's trying to push you to commit su suicide. That's literally what he's doing by but going on Bam's <coughs> Bless you. Goes on no, top. I'm not going to commit suicide, David. Don't you worry about it, mate. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm a very strong person. I've been through worse than this. This is bad enough. Um, but the reason, again, I'm doing this is for other people who maybe aren't as strong as me, who maybe no. will do what you're saying that I'm going to do. And this is what we're going to protect. He has already done it to somebody. So what does he think he's going to do it again to me? No, I'm stronger yeah. than that, David. Yeah. So we want to see some. So we want to see some proof. Any proof of any of these outrageous, baseless allegations yeah. that you've made, David Demars? Uh, if you don't have the proof, then we're just going to assume that you just lied outrageously, and this is what you do because you are a liar. Liars lie. That is what they do. Okay. Thank you for joining me, Val. It's been a pleasure. It's Same time you know, next week. Yeah, sometime next week. Um, it's one of those things. Look, for anyone who's getting bored of this topic, um, please feel free to watch any of the 200, nearly 300 videos that I have, any of our other videos. If you're bored, don't want to hear about this, go watch our other videos. There's enough there. You don't need to leave any comments telling us negative things because this is something that I feel passionate about. Like I said, I feel that David DeMars has been a bully for too long in this community. Um, he's, like I said, with his bullying of, of Val and other people that he has, who have who, paid him money worse than just you know he's actually been paid to give these people a service so i just want to stand up for them the woman in mexico and that you know yeah. um i just want to say as well that although you know youtube videos are all about helping people with narcissism showing you how to go no contact telling you all about gaslighting and love bombing and all this business when we have a narcissist in the presence in amongst us you know, teaching us the very things that he's actually doing to people and enabling, people are enabling him to do it. We aren't just going to sit back and let him do it. And we aren't just going to continue doing videos about oh, what to do if you get abused by a narcissist. That's shutting the gate or the barn door after the horse has bolted. We're not going to let you get abused in this community and then make a video about it saying, well, if you get abused in this community, well, this is what you need to do. No, we're going to point out the abusers in this community. I don't care whether people hate me or whether people are going to write comments everywhere, which I don't read now anyway. If you don't like what we're doing, well, then you're not the people that we're aiming at. <clears throat> you're not the people that admire people who stand up and speak out because that's what we're doing here. I'm not going to sit back and just make videos of healing people after the abuse. If there's abuse here, I'm going to try and stop it. And that's the thing. So all these people that just get annoyed with us, go and watch other videos. But we're here to save people as much as we can. I didn't know that. Sorry, I no, just that makes sense. Off. No, it makes sense, Val. Absolutely does make sense. And and that's it. The people, you know, we can't save all the people all the time. The people that will listen to this warning, you know, it may it may just trigger them to just think, well, like I said, whether it's about David or someone else who's giving off red flags or who's acting in a certain way, it might just save them from being predated on by that person, you know, and therefore it will be worth, you know, doing all this and going through all this because it's not fun, especially not for no, you. This is I'm not fun. Exactly. I also want to say, if, also, sorry, um, if there's anybody out there who has had a situation with 
do ours coaching, please contact either one of us. We'll put our, our emails underneath somewhere. Um, complete privacy. Um, but I just, you know, it just needs to stop. Yeah, it does need to stop. And unfortunately, the thing with narcissists is we know that they aren't and they won't stop. So someone will have to stop him somehow. And maybe this is the way we do it, you know, by by um, forewarning the community, by putting the word out, you know, because the word does spread about these predators. It takes a while, but it does spread. So um, I think, you know, I think that that's all we can really hope to do is just, you know, keep putting the word out, keep um, supporting the other victims when they come up because they do come up. So, yeah, so another victim has come out. Um, her channel is a, I don't know, I can't remember what the actual, it's got a weird title. Um, I'm going to link her in. She's one of David Marr's former clients. Um, she has stuff to say. Um, she's not happy about her experience. Um, she paid him, you know, $600 or whatever, had six sessions. Um, she ended up kind of just having to go through the motions with him because she saw the mask, like the mask came off and he yelled at her during a session um, and was quite um, abrasive to her. And he kept trying to take her down paths that she didn't want to go, like talking about her childhood, like he's not qualified to discuss this kind of stuff, you know. So anyhow, so she's done this video. We're going to link it in the comment section. If there are any other um, victims of David Miles or clients of David Miles who want to speak up or anyone else who's got information about David Miles or any of the other uh, narcissism abuse channels or especially the coaches, because these are people that are going one-on-one -on -one with people. If you have any information, as Val said, just contact either of us. That'll be fine and we'll get back to you. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. Have a good evening, day, evening, night, wherever everyone is. Here we go. Good night. Take care. Bye. Thanks.